In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. I will tell you a story about myself, although it's not right. I will talk about my weakness. I was very shy, and I would spend a whole day without saying anything out of shyness. I was isolated and withdrawn in college. Shyness was very disruptive. I wasn't just shy talking to a girl. I was shy even to talk to a boy. I felt sick when I had to give the Sunday school lesson in front of kids. It was hard. I feel for and understand anyone who has no confidence or feels very shy. Let's start by asking a question. How come certain characters in the Bible didn't lose confidence in themselves? Joseph, for example, had many circumstances that could have made him not just lose his confidence, but that would make him need treatment for the rest of his life. Circumstances that should have given him all kinds of psychological disorders. His mother died when she was giving birth to his brother. He was five years old. His brothers hated him and played tricks on him. His father spoiled him too much. He was terrorized when his brothers threw him in the well. They were laughing and he was crying. This is a huge trauma. He had a hard question to face. Why isn't dad looking for me? He didn't know that they told his father that he died. The poor thing waited for his father to look for him for 20 years. This is very tough. Did my dad forget about me? Does he hate me too? What happened to make him hate me? My mother died, my dad doesn't look for me, and my brothers hate me. What did I do? He was threatened when he was a slave. He knew that all slaves and the lady of the palace had bad morals. He didn't want to sin. He, wa he wanted to be righteous in a very hard situation. Joseph was a typical case for depression, anxiety, OCD, or an acute psychotic attack. The strange thing is that he didn't have any of these. This means that I don't have to suffer psychologically if I face bad circumstances. There is a way to regain my confidence. Another example, David wasn't treated like his siblings. He was considered nothing. He was number eight in a line of sons and his father left him with the flock of sheep. When Samuel visited his father, he didn't even invite David. Imagine David's feelings who knew that this was the way his father looked at him. Someone like this could have turned out broken or hating his father or brother. He was neglected. He once said, My father and my mother forsake me, then the Lord will take care of me. We know nothing about his mother. He then was persecuted without a good reason for about 15 years. Do you know how injustice feels? David loved Saul and never thought of having his throne, but Saul was convinced that David hated him and wanted to kill him. David was the most person in the Old Testament who fell in terrible sins. These were supposed to make him unconfident, self-loathing, or lose hope. He was the reason for the death of many people, including his children. He killed one of his faithful friends. How did he deal with himself? He was one of the worst people to raise children. Most of his children were unrighteous. Only Solomon was good, although he too eventually lost his way. David saw his children killing each other. His failure as a father could have made him hate himself, but he didn't lose hope or feel self-loathing. How come Joseph and David didn't go through despair or self-loathing? They saw more than us. We may have had a hard upbringing or our parents were tough, but not like them. Peter was expected to lose hope. He was the only one that Jesus strictly rebuked, saying, Get behind me, Satan, in Matthew 16. Imagine if you hear that from your spiritual father. You may never leave your home again. How could he continue without self-loathing? He also denied Jesus. This is a very big sin. He then went back to fishing. He was the one who convinced the others to go back fishing. They were supposed to be apostles and leaders of the church, but he drove them back to fishing. This is why they didn't catch any fish, because they were not supposed to go back. These were big mistakes. But he didn't lose hope. Why didn't they lose hope in themselves, God or people? Let's see how to regain our self-confidence through these characters. They are like us. They were wounded and they had many reasons to lose hope.